Hey, this is Russ. You might be wondering, what do I do with my free time? <laughs> now that I am not working, technically, since uh, I closed my school, my photography school, and uh, I'm not going to physical therapy because of COVID-19 um, social distancing for the last three months, what have I been doing while sitting around at home? <laughs> I often wondered that myself. All right, let, let me tell you what I have been doing. Now, since my wife has been working at home because her office place uh, basically told everyone to work out of their house, uh, and she is going back soon. Uh, I believe she'll be going back uh, right after the 4th of July. But anyways, um, she's upstairs. She's doing her work. I'm down here doing whatever it is I do in front of the computer all day long. <laughs> What have I been doing? Let me tell you what I've been doing. Um, I've been staring at a computer monitor all day long, looking at stocks. <laughs> oh, Russ is a stock genius. No, I am a novice. I don't know anything about the stock market. Really, I don't. But we kind of decided since I had the time and I'm not working, um, Maybe I should learn a little bit about the stock market. Now, my friend Stacy, who you probably have heard before, uh, if you've watched any of my old videos, um, he's done the stock market. So he's been kind of telling me what I should and shouldn't do. And I've been studying some things on my own. And so um, I started looking at a variety of different stocks, uh, mainly the cruise stocks. And I think based on this COVID-19 time, a lot of people have been looking at these cruise stocks. And they've been going up and down and everything like that. So um, people have told me, don't get involved with the cruise stocks. You'll lose your shirt. OK, uh, well, actually, I've made money on the cruise stocks. <laughs> so uh, you can make money, um, even for a guy like me who doesn't know anything about the stock market or financial things. Um, I learned enough to be able to kind of play the market a little bit. So what am I doing? Am I day trading? Technically speaking, yes, I'm day trading, <laughs> but I'm not doing like what the typical day traders do. I don't buy lots and lots of stocks. I don't have what they call a margin account. I have a cash account, so I put my own money in. And so I'm not stuck with um, with the, uh, uh, there's there's a rule that you, you can only do, I think up to four trades a week if you're on a margin account, but don't have at least $20,000 in there. Luckily for me, I'm not doing um, a margin account. I'm doing a cash account. So I put my money in there and I'm playing with that money. So I'm not under this um, this ruling of the day trading thing. I can trade as often as I want. But the problem is, is that once you do a trade, by the time the money comes back into your account, it's another two days. So you can only do it so many times. All right. So in my case, I do it once per day, and then um, I have enough money for another time for the next day. And by the third day, the original money has come back in, so I can use that again. So I can kind of keep going on a daily basis, but I can really only do one trade per day, all right? So based on that, um, I've been very careful of how I've done my trades, and so far I've made money. Now. That doesn't mean I haven't lost money. In fact, if you look at it, I've lost more money than I've gained. Ooh, that's a little scary, right? But I'm still ahead of the game. So what does that mean? I made a whole bunch of money, but I lost a lot of that money trying to make more money. <laughs> so in all, I still have my initial investment and I have money on top of it. So I'm actually ahead of the game, but it's sad to have lost that initial loss okay and that loss all happened on one day <laughs> one day and that was the day when uh the stock market started crashing and so i think everybody who was in there probably lost on that day but because being so new i kind of figured well things are going down uh eventually it's going to turn around okay and then it'll come back up well it never came back up and by that time you're waiting and waiting you're dropping more and more, okay? So I didn't learn the lesson of you got to know when to cut your losses, right? So that was a that was an expensive loss, but I'm still ahead of the game, all right? So um, I think if you're going to do these stock market things, you you have to you have to pay your dues. I, I kind of see it as paying my dues, learning a hard lesson, right? So I learned a hard lesson. If when it gets past a certain point, sell and get out of it. 
take the money again and do it another day. That's the way to do it, I think. So I'm not looking for large amounts of money. I'm just looking for if I can make a certain amount of money every day, uh, that's better than sitting around and making no money any day. <laughs> uh, can you do it every day is the question. And I would say, no, you, you really can't. You can't it, you're not gonna make money every single day. And um, like I said, I've been looking at these cruise stocks and um, uh, that's gone up and down. Okay, but if you do it right, yeah, you, you might be able to make money, but you could lose your shirt too. <laughs> you got to be very careful. I'm don't, don't follow me because I'm doing it. I'm telling you, if you know what you're doing, you're willing to take a little bit of risk and you have enough money to risk it, you can make some money um, doing this. So, um, so far I'm doing okay, but I had done better except for that one day, which wiped out a lot of my money. <laughs> I will never do that again. All right. That's the key, I think, with with all this stuff is that you got to know when to get in and when to get out and when to cut your losses when it's gone too far. OK, it's kind of like the Kenny Rogers, uh, the gambler <laughs> song. Right. You got to know when to quit. <laughs> so uh, I learned that lesson, a hard lesson, unfortunately. But I'm gaining it back slowly. So uh, I feel confident that I will probably on the long run do well but uh, I probably won't be making the riches that most people expect to make in the stock market. I think if you're realistic with how much you will make, you can do the day trading thing. If you wanna do investments where you're just you know, putting the money in and just waiting several months, you probably will do okay too if you pick the right stocks. But being the impatient guy that I am, I wanna see a quick immediate return. So I, I put my money in, I invested for that day. I get out of there. Maybe I'll stay a day or two, uh, swing trade a little bit. But in general, I like to put my money in and get my money right back out. And if that means I only make two hundred dollars that day, three hundred dollars that day, I'm okay with that. Right? Do that enough times, it was worth doing it. Right? And that, my friends, is what I've been doing at home. <laughs> when you would think, well, you know, what is this guy doing all day long? That's what I do all day long. Anyways, if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, hit it all, and I will talk to you guys next time.